Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday Tutorials number 171. Today we show you a way to generate time reports from a Google Calendar using a Google Sheet add-on. At some point in time, you or someone you know may need to generate a report for total hours put into certain tasks, events, or even help keep track of hours for employees, interns, or student teachers. Calculating the time of events and adding all that up and then creating a report, well, that can be pretty tedious and prone to errors. So why not let spreadsheets do all the work? Timesheet is a Google Spreadsheets add-on that pulls events with specific tags from your Google Calendar. Then it creates full reports about project usage, resource consumption, or time spent on tasks. Here's how it works. First, you pick or create a calendar that you'll keep your time recordings in. You can use a personal calendar or a shared one if you want to collect other people's entries too. With that calendar, you can create a hashtag that identifies the group or the project or the task. After that, you can leave a comment to document what kind of work you did then. So an example here is TPS report and worked on the report for Lumberg, or TPS reports, Lumber wanted revisions, or TPS reports, something about consultants. You can put that in the title of it. The big thing is that you have to have the hashtag at the beginning, and the hashtag has to be a single word. So you'll notice I combine TPS report into one word. You can have as many hashtags as you like, like meeting, um, or lunch, or printer. Perhaps you want to track how many hours you're wasting fighting with the printer so that you could then make a case for getting a new one. So in this example, you see I have a lot of different hashtags, and I do have some color here. This is not part of the add-on. It's just showing you that you can go in here and select certain colors for things and use that as another method of kind of distinguishing events, but that can take some time and be a bit more time consuming. And a lot of people just don't want to have a multicolored calendar. Even so, that wouldn't help you add up all the times, which is what the add-on helps you with. The important thing to know is that the different tabs will be calculated separately. And that's about all you have to do in your calendar. Put a hashtag at the beginning of the title of the event and it will be included in the calculations for that hashtag. Okay, now let's create the report. Go to Google Sheets and you can start with a blank sheet. You're going to go there and you're going to give it a name that's appropriate. You'll notice that I'm calculating a week, but we can do more than that. But we're going to go over here to Extensions and Add-ons and choose Get Add-ons. And then you're going to do a search for Timesheet. It's all one word. The icon looks like this and you'll just choose install. Give it access to your account and go ahead and allow. And it will now be installed in your extensions pull down. Go here, timesheet, and create a report. When you click create a report, you have to choose the template. The default template is gonna group all of your times by tag and then by description. We're gonna do this for now and then pick the calendar you'd like to pull from and then the time period. You can say last month, next month, whatever, or in this case, last week and then hit create. It's going to create a new report. It's going to call it last week and it's going to detail every hashtag that you have, total number of hours in hashtags and subtotals for each hashtag itself. I can choose to do another report and change the parameters or change the template on that, or I can choose to update the report. Update report is useful if something has changed in the calendar since you ran this report and you want to kind of update it and make sure it looks at it again. Perhaps you've done more TPS reports or something like that. In this case, I'm just going to choose another report because I want to change the parameters. I'll do the same type of report. I'll choose this calendar, but this time I'm going to add a project filter. I only want to look at TPS report and TPS reports, plural, because I've noticed that I made an error and on one of these tags, I put an S and the other one I didn't. Separate them with commas, and that should give me all of my TPS reports total. And then I hit create. So in this case, it's generating a report from two separate hashtags, but they're all technically the same because of spelling. And there I've done a total of 14 hours that week in TPS reports. Let's take another look at it. And this time I want to see a time log with descriptions for that calendar for last week. Go. Notice that each time I run a new report, it creates another tab so that my all my reports are undamaged. In this case, I see the specific times, in which case I worked on these things, and any details that come from that event description, not just the event title. Most of the time you're gonna find that it's more useful probably to pull from the general report, uh, which has the event title. 
Now, it's particularly useful if you use this on a shared calendar. Let's say you've got several student employees or something, um, and you want them all to keep their hours on there. And then you can just do a hashtag for their last name or hashtag for their name. So hashtag John Doe, hashtag Jane Doe, and you can then track how many total hours each of them have worked. That's just one possible use for it. You might also do this with time spent with grant work or uh, time spent in professional development and stuff like that for a team. There's all sorts of ways you can put this to good use. The thing I love about this is that it's just so fast and so easy. And from an end user standpoint, it's just a matter of using the right hashtag on any given event. I'll leave the link to the add-on in the video description. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Heck, why not support us and click that subscribe button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Click the bell, receive email notifications, leave a comment for a Tech Tuesday or a video below, and share this video with your friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.